Bondura, Kemonacho, we are going to optimize some campaigns with Google Analytics. Let's see how. So I have tagged, I have tagged all of my source medium and I also have tagged my campaigns so I can know what campaign is bringing me the highest conversions. See, I have conversion rate here. So I know this is bringing me a lot of conversions. So this campaign is working, but there are some, con some like it's not getting, I mean, not great. But still, it's getting a lot of sessions. I mean, 10,000 sessions, but conversion rate is not good enough. So what's the deal? Maybe we are targeting wrong. Maybe our messaging is wrong. This is a good insight to go back and check why your campaign is not performing at the way that it needs to be performing. So you can look at the content. You can look at the creatives. You can look at the messaging. You can look at the landing page. You can look at a whole bunch of things by identifying which campaigns are not working. So you know where you are spending money and not necessarily making money. So money is going to waste. And you can also know what are the most um, profitable campaigns for you. What are the campaigns that are bringing you a higher ROI? But for that to happen, you need to tag everything. If you don't have UTM tags, this is going to be a hard game. Let me explain you what is UTM tags. So there are all kinds of ways traffic can come to your website, right? Starting off with organic search. That means somebody searches for you. Somebody searches for um, 10 minutes school on Google, sees our page, clicks and comes. That's organic. Or we can run an ad. 10 minutes school never runs ads. We are doing all organic, but still we could run ads. If we run ads, you there will be a lot of campaigns. We might not know where the traffic is coming from. Which campaign is the traffic coming from? That's why you need tags. So even if you are doing an SMS campaign, um, email campaign, whatever the campaign, push notification campaign, whatever the campaign, if you tag them, you will exactly know where it came from, what source it came from, what medium it came from, and what is the exact campaign that it came from. So to know all of these things, there is a few steps that you got to do. First is you need to tag your UTMs. So you Google for URL builder, you find something like this. You put whatever the landing page that you want. I have put 10 minutes school. I'm putting it on Facebook. I'm doing an organic campaign. I'm just putting in an organic post. I'm not going to boost it or anything. So I'm saying FB organic and then I'm putting a specific campaign name. Google Analytics January 2018. So this is what my URL will finally look like. I put this URL to the ad or wherever we are going to do the promotion. When people click and come to the site, I can know all of these things. Right, all of these things I will know. Source is Facebook, medium is organic, and this is the exact campaign that we ran. Right, so you can find out what is working, what is profitable for you, what is unprofitable for you, and optimize it accordingly. So how do we get a UTM tracking place going? Like how do you kind of systematically do it? How do you put a process in place? One is, first thing is you need to have a standardized way to put names. I put an identifiable unique name, month and the year. So that we also will know, okay, people who came in January 2017 campaign are buying more than people who came in the February 2000 campaign. Right, so we know these guys are profitable. It's very easy. And then we just put it on a spreadsheet. We put on a spreadsheet, what is the UTM? And so UTM information we put on a spreadsheet and briefly about the targeting. So you know, okay, this campaign was targeted to these people, this audience. If it didn't work, you also know, okay. So you don't necessarily have to go back and open up Facebook or Google AdWords, this and that. You can just look at the deck and know what has happened in a basic level. Then you can go up and open up Facebook, Google AdWords or whatever and go nuts with it. So this is an example I have taken now by the least conversion rate. So I have one which is only 0.51 when my average is 0.62 which is five times lesser and it's bringing a lot of traffic and I have another 0.20 again bringing a lot of tra traffic 30,000 right so I can work on these things and also I can make campaigns for example I can create campaigns to bring in people to nurture people and for campaigns for people who have converted and you can easily identify which campaign is what because of the name you're going to use on the UTM campaign. So you know what's going to happen or what is happening so you can take actions and improve. Yeah, that's, that's about it. That's simple.